clinical sexologist, which means I study the science of sex. Love, relationships, intimacy, the whole gamut from A to Z. Cool. I'm going to ask you some questions, and uh, if you get nervous, you can play with that. It's a breast. Okay. It's I like a, that. It's a silicone breast. Can you guess what size it is? I'll guess a 34 double C. Okay, I'll buy that. It's actually a D, but that was good. Close. That was You were close. Yes, nice. that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite a sexy sex doctor. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What's one word that would describe your sexual personality before you started this experiment? Naughty. Naughty? You know, I have an exercise that I'd love you to do. It's kind of cool. It's an imagery exercise. Okay. Do you like to draw? Yeah. Good. This is your goal, your ultimate goal. If you could visualize it, what would it look like? Balance. Balance. Love that. Tell me about that. I had no balance. It was just all going downhill. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was out, I was drinking, I was partying, I was shallow, I was sleeping with... Not to say I was doing anything wrong, because a lot of young single guys would do it, but I feel like it's going to change all around for me. I'm going to find a bit of a balance so I can party and I can work and I can find that balance. So one way to create that balance is to be intimate with a woman mm -hmm. without having sex mm -hmm. with her right away. It's one of those things I look forward to the thought of meeting a girl now and not just thinking how can we go home and be naughty together. I haven't found a woman yet that I would like a long-term situation with. I'm sure it will happen and I hope it does happen. But at the moment, it's just kind of like a short-term, no connection, uh, you know what I mean? I got commitment issues, but that's a whole other doctor. Right that, okay, okay. You are in the prime of your sexuality. This is a test of your willpower. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. You know, I have another exercise that I'd love you to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you somewhere mm -hmm. where you are going to be surrounded by the naughtiest, hottest, wildest women. Is this right? Well, it's a test of your willpower. Of course it is. And I think you'll get to know them on a deeper level. I'm sure I'll be turned on by these women. And at the end of the day, it's going to be fucking difficult. I know that. Describe your experience at the Bunny Ranch. It was like going to a chocolate factory and telling the guy you don't want to eat chocolate. So you didn't come close to breaking? No, it's just one of those things where I'd love to uh, indulge, you know, but fuck, we'll see. Oh, I'm very impressed with you. I really am. Cool. But how about doing some role playing with Shelly, my assistant? It's a way for you to connect mm -hmm. on a different level. Okay. Cool. I've come up with a series of exercises that include non-sexual touching. Okay. Are we going to be like on the floor, like getting in positions and shit? Okay. Hi, Shelly. Could you come in, please? Yes, just a moment. No, I don't do anything like that. Everything I do is done with class and dignity. How are you? Mm -hmm. You know, why don't we do a romantic touch? And remember, this is PG rated. This would be my romantic touch. I like your romantic touch. Yeah? Yeah. Enjoy it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it I don't want you to go. <laughs> this would be mine. Right there. Just kind of holding your face. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You guys are good. Is that kind of doing it? That's good. That is, that it? is an amazing yeah. erogenous zone. It's a man. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You like that? Are you kidding me? Do you have a playful touch that you would do with Shelly? It'd be playfully naughty. <laughs> <laughs> You could spread her hand and lick in between her fingers as if it was her legs. Right. She could suck on your fingers phallically. I would have to fucking think about that one. <laughs> Hello, young lady. Hello, how are you? Give us a hug. So let's review what you've gained from this whole experiment. OK. Where does sex rank in life's priorities for you now? Still pretty important. Well, let's find out how important. I've got oh. kind of a, a fun thing for you to do. OK. And I've written down 10 different important things, and I want to find out where they are okay. in your life 
So you'll put number one here. Most important. Num yeah. Okay. This is pretty tricky. I mean, is this love as in, like, do I want to be loved? Do I love somebody else? Am I looking for love with a girl? However I want to put it. It's any kind of love that you want. Do you love yourself? Yeah, I'm working on it. You know, it's a big, it's a fucking process, you know? I want to share a little secret with you, and that is that when you love and respect yourself, others will too. Gotcha. It's, it's the law of attraction. Yeah. And the only thing that I would recommend mm -hmm. for you to work on is to get love mm -hmm. to be number one. Really? Really. Wow. Without it, there's nothing. OK. And it all starts with self-love. OK. Yeah. I'm working on that. Now, I get to give you a graduation present. Do you really? Yes. Nice. And I hope that this will remind you of our work together. <laughs> Is that an implant? Oh my god, that's fucking genius. You got me my own implant to pay. I fucking, that is hilarious. So you've got a tit to go. That is a tit to go. That is genius. <laughs> <laughs>